Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to Art 101. Today we are going to talk about line. Um, if this is your first time joining, um, oh, there's my notification that I went live. If this is your first time joining, uh, what we're doing here with the Art 101 series is really trying to go back to basics so that we can refresh our art toolbox and our art skills um, and just have some fun kind of uh, revisiting uh, some of the things we may have forgotten over the years. So good morning. I'm glad you're here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump right in. Uh, here we go, make myself small. Um, so we're gonna start for the next couple of weeks, we're gonna focus on the elements of art and I am gonna break it down um, into kind of, you know, it's gonna seem very elementary. However, um, revisiting these elements um, is just going to kind of give us a, an art refresher. So today I've got a few, um, things to talk about in regards to line and then I've got two kind of fun quick demos at the end so I hope that you will stick around and then participate in those and then hopefully uh, share with me so uh, today we are going to talk about line as an element of art and um, it's gonna like I said it seems very uh, simple very elementary everybody knows what a line is right um, so when we begin to talk about these elements of art, um, in my last, um, blog, I mentioned, um, kind of the idea of having, um, ingredients, right? Every recipe has ingredients and every book has vocabulary, um, and all art has elements. And these elements are um, kind of these visual components that um, an artist uses to create art. So understanding these ingredients, these vocabulary, these components um, helps us understand not only a piece of art when we look at it, um, but it gives us the tools we need to create art. So um, the seven elements that we're going to cover over time are line, color, value, shape, form, uh, space, and texture. So the first one that we're going to talk about is line. Good morning, Sam. Hello, Gail. Um, the paint tubes, the, what holds them up? I just have um, a tension rod, like a shower rod going across because I have a wall over on this side and I have a wall on, you know, maybe about um, a f two feet away from me on this side. So I have a shower tension rod and then I have um, like little shower, like, you know, I don't know if you can see them, but there's just um, the tension rod and then there's like round um, curtain clips that I use to hold up the, the bottles there. Um, and it's kind of a good system, although I think I'm kind of weighted out. I'm probably at max weight for those paints. <laughs> All right, so we're talking about line. Um, so I mentioned the elements of art, and so over the weeks we're going to talk about these um, different elements, line, shape, color, value, form, texture, and space. Whew. All right, so what is a line? The obvious, like we know what a line is, right? It's a long, narrow marker band a continuous mark made on a surface by a moving point. And I kind of want to focus on the idea of a moving point, right? Um, so it takes movement to make, make a lie, to make a line that should say line. It takes movement to make a line. Uh, but what I want you to think about when you're using line in your pieces is that line creates movement in a piece of art. So, um, here are some, oops, my slides go crazy when they, uh, 
transfer over here for some reason. Um, lines can be horizontal, um, vertical, which is up and down, horizontal is left to right. Um, they can be diagonal, they can be curved, or they can be zigzaggy. I don't know why this is doing this. Give me just a second. Let me see if I can fix that. Google Slides is giving me the trouble today, giving me the business. I always try to check these before I get going. And for some reason today, they just want to be a pain in the necky. All right. So let me remove this, share slides. Let's try this again. No matter how prepared I am, I always feel like there's a technical hiccup. All right, here we go. Yay, okay. So um, when you're using lines, horizontal lines tend to make the observer, observer uh, feel comfortable or calm. Vertical lines may contain uh, or convey attention or strength. So, um, you know, think of the walls of a building, they're, they're sturdy. Diagonal lines uh, may signal rising or falling or may create a tense or uncomfortable feeling. Um, and diagonal lines, though, that meet at a point, think of like a rooftop, also creates uh, the idea of stability. Curved lines can feel graceful or flowing, and zigzag lines may indicate excitement or confusion. Um, so th think of those components um, when you're looking at a piece of art. So in this example here, this is uh, a sample from Kandinsky and um, all these uh, lines are put together and they have kind of a chaotic feeling. Um, there's no organization. So there's zigzags in there, um, which kind of gives you the feeling of excitement. Um, all the diagonal lines uh, create this movement throughout the piece. So it gives kind of a, um, a busy feeling. So uh, you can use line to uh, evoke an emotion in your piece. Um, the next thing I wanna talk about is line variation. So by changing the quality of your line, the width, length, texture, thickness um, can change the way your painting feels. So um we can use lines you know you can um cross hatch lines uh is a nice way to use line variation variation gosh i can't talk today for shading um line texture a lot of times um honestly in my paintings i like to use charcoal because it's got a very um gritty texture and that's um i kind of like that um unclean, not defined line um, versus think about um, the kind of lines that people use when they're drawing um, in uh, a comic style or uh, a graphic novel style. They're very clean and crisp. So you can alter the way that you use lines uh, to add interest to your drawing or painting. Um, line also helps define objects. So, for example, if you're drawing uh, a sphere, right, your lines, um, if you're drawing lines on the sphere, they're going to be curved and that's going to help give that uh, dimension to the object. Um, and then if we think about, um, I'm thinking of a, an example that I used in my last video um, from Ansel Adams. There was uh, an image of some black and white 
flowers in a field, but there was definitely the use of line to get your eye to move through that piece. So um, there is something called implied lines as well. So if you're not using, you know, lines and that you draw, there are kind of implied lines, uh, visual lines that your eye will follow throughout your piece. And that's probably the most frequent way that we use lines in our art. So let's move on here. Um, so uh, that was quick and simple, right? Like everybody knows what a line is. Um, we're just kind of revisiting it. So today uh, your challenge is to uh, create create your own version of a tangle. Uh, tangles are a fun and modern way to experiment with line. So I challenge you to create your own piece of art using tangles. Um, I don't have the patience a lot of times to make very large pieces with tangles, but I do like to have doodle elements in my pieces. I really enjoy it. And that's one of the ways that I use line as well. So what I'm gonna do, is remove this and um, I'm going to add my demo here. We've got two demos. Um, they're short and sweet. So uh, both of them uh, will last about 10 minutes. They're all done with basic supplies. So I hope you give it a try. Just experiment this week with line or as you're painting or creating this week. Uh, try to just keep that idea of line in your head and how you use it or how you could change the way you use it uh, to do something a little different. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up this demo and I hope you give it a go.
right. Thanks everybody for joining me this week. Um, I hope you uh, will give line a try, uh, experiment with line a little bit this week. Uh, don't forget to uh, share with us, uh, tag at Painted Cicada on any of your social medias. And I will be back uh, next week, Tuesday at 1030 um, with a little bit longer uh, session. We're going to talk about shape and I've got a really fun art lesson to go with that. So I will see you next Tuesday. And um, if you want to see a little bit more, you can check out my blog. I believe the link is up um, in the post and have a great week, everybody. Thanks.